So, Pawaka YouTube, we are back. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, you got the car fixed. What happened actually? What actually happened? We searched for the problem way too far. While we were doing the trend swap, I forgot to pop something in all the way, I think, because it was just the axle. Mm -hmm. The axle popped out, and that's why it won't go into gear. It went into gear, but it won't pull. Yeah. So I just jacked up the car. Pop the axle back in, fill the oil, and that was it. And uh, so that that was the whole smoking in the car when when we we thought that was, it would burn the yeah, clutch. So yeah. the oil of the tranny was falling yeah, on, the, on exhaust. the exhaust. Yeah, and yeah. it was burning up. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we actually went um, for a road trip uh, the other day. Uh, yeah. It was a New Year's road trip. Yeah, so New Year's road trip. We were planning on making a New Year's trip. Happy New Year to you guys. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope the, all the best in this new 2021 with your New Year's revolution. Resolution. <laughs> revolution. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just has to be better than 2020, man. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, Mean the meanwhile we went for a New Year's cruise. Yes, uh, but uh, I think we should we can we can show them now. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna show you guys the footage what we had, and I'm gonna tell you what happened after that. Okay. So Stuki is rocking that low life. <laughs> we have a little Honda only action today. It is busy for a Sunday though. Where is your where, where is your eco R? Sold it. J already? Today. Today. Matches. So someone left the slippers here. Yesterday. So what happened to the car after that? So what happened after that? Okay, it was a good ride. It was a good run. Um, but I, I just can't seem to get a break, man. First it was clutch issues. Then it was axle issues. Now I'm going to show you what's the next issue.
bubbles, bruh. I burned the head gasket. <laughs> I burned the head gasket. Check it out. Oil. Oil. So the, does the does the the current go in? And the, and the, uh... No, luckily not. Okay. Luckily not. Uh, my tank is just in the cooling system, but mm -hmm. it didn't went into the pan. Yeah. Into the man, I just seem to, I just can't seem to get a drink, man. I was already struggling with the training. Now I have to be struggling with the head. Mm -hmm. Boy, this guy is really a Subaru lover, man. It's just burning head gaskets <laughs> on Hondas. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> oh, well. I'm bringing the soup. I'm bringing the soupy game to Honda's. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's really bad news. Yeah, um, I already have a gasket actually. <laughs> I got it from a good friend of mine. Uh, he donated that gasket to me. So stay tuned for a uh, gasket replacement episode pretty <laughs> soon. Okay. But this is the bad news. In other news, there is also good news. <laughs> That's a lot of news. <laughs> it's a lot of news because it's New Year. So I'm just gonna show you guys the new news. Okay. The good news. And the new news is... He has the new news. What's the news? Well, I... Uh, you, you remember the, the car which uh, we, we used to pull our Aria to home? Yeah. Going with the trusty... Paso. This car has been in my life for at least six years now. So, the, you, you use the, the Toyota Paso. Yeah. I actually traded that for this. <laughs> yeah, it? boy. Well, yeah, boy. Well, actually, um, so as you know, as you might see, this is a, a, a four door Integra. And the reason why I took a four-door Integra and not a two-door Integra is because I wanted something a little bit more practical. So that's why I took a four-door Integra. Okay, so um, thinking of kids pretty soon? Well, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's a new year, so... <laughs> Pop the hood! So, I don't know if you guys uh, remember a few episodes back. Uh, this guy, he came, he came actually over uh, to buy my intake. I don't know if if if, if it does run. I will I will uh, run uh, it now. Yeah. Denver. And uh, he actually did a lot of work on the on the engine. To just remember, it was the B18, uh, the B20 engine from the CRP. But he added a VTEC head uh, on it. Unfortunately, the unfortunately the VTEC doesn't work yet. So we need to resolve that issue. Uh, but. That's uh, that's basically it. So this is a B20 VTEC engine, and it's it also has a manual, but it's the B16 transmission, the, the cable one, and it's really short. So and converted to hydro. Yeah. So uh, it's it's really short, and compared to to Aria, this engine has a lot more torque, and with a short gear training, it's a lot more torque. So it's it's really it's really. Um, how do you say? Turkey. Yeah, it's really turkey. It's a turkey beast. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what I have. This is my daily driver. Um, so I will not be modifying it too much, but um, I think I will be I will be restoring the car to a, a better state, as you can as you can um, see. And uh, let me let me see. Uh, let me show you guys another thing. I don't know if you guys remember. But this is a DB8 Type R. <coughs> what? <laughs> Are we really gonna call it, be calling it a Type R? Well, well it's a Type R. It's a, it says on the batch. Yeah. But and and this is the only one that's in the country right now. But yes, of, of course, it doesn't have the, the 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 Type R engine in it anymore. But I mean. Then it's not a Type R. So you're, you're, you're telling me that a car is only a Type R if it has a B18 engine in it? B18C. 
Yes. LSD transmission. Yes. That what makes it a type R. All right. So uh, I guess we will not we will not be calling this a type R then. Where's your EQ R? Sold it. EQ R. That's a better. No, word. that's and not a. Yes, it's not an EQ. EQ it's not an EQ R. Call it the EQ R. Because yes. it does. Because it does have the B16 head on it. Okay. EQ With GSR cams, EQ by the way. EQ R plus. <laughs> Good. Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. But yeah, um, let's just say that the chassis is a Type R, and and also the the suspension. So it does it does have the Type R suspension, and uh, it has USDM Type R uh, seats. So everyone will be saying, I don't have the Recaro seats, but this one is the USDM. Um, type R seats with the rest stitches. Still no type R. All right, all right. I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, I just uh, traded on my Paso and also something else. And this one is the project, uh, not the project, the the daily driver. So you know, this carries us everywhere. The AC works. The power steering doesn't work, but the AC does. I mean, I haven't had I haven't had AC in any of my cars since I drove cars. And now you have. AC. And now I have AC. You went luxurious. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna be, you know, racing anyone with this. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna be doing that. I mean, it's a daily driver, man. No, no one. I think people will want to see Aria version one versus Aria version two. Right. R Aria yeah, Aria. Aria. That's going to be the name for this car. I mean. The R. <laughs> Dash Y E Aria. Yes. Anyways, uh, that will be happening. Well, I mean, Not only, yet, only, uh, only if you guys, only if you guys want to see that. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys, if you want to, see want to it, <laughs> if you guys want to see that, hit that, like, <laughs> hit that like button. Mention us. Put it in the comments below that you want to see that happening. Yeah. If you want to see that happening, we will make it happen. Trust uh -huh. me. Uh, we, have to, we have to know which which one is the faster one. From this channel. Dude, Just I have 200 more cc's. I mean, of course, the VTEC doesn't work, but I, I have. Don't, I don't have AC, bro. So? <laughs> Plus 50 HP. <laughs> God, what are you talking about? <laughs> God, are Anyways, enough talking about the cars. We hang over to Tony's right now. It's really windy, but uh, we will be heading over to Tony's and uh, we will explain, or I will explain, what the deal has been actually for. Um, how I got that car. Man, I must say, I have, uh, since I had this car, I had this car for three days now, I think, and my phone has just been blowing up. Everyone is, is sending me messages, <laughs> calling me. Hey, dude, I'm just like, how does everyone know? I haven't told anyone yet. So, I don't know how everyone knows, but obviously when I post this video, it's not gonna be a surprise for most of you, but. It's just gonna be a confirmation. Yeah, that it's gonna it be a is confirmation. What it is. Yeah, it's it's uh. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. So you can't you can't keep a secret. I mean, it's. It, no 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 you, you can keep a secret, but when it comes to Hondas. Yeah, it's a small world. It's a, it's a small, small world. world. All right, so uh, this is Stuki's GC8. He is um, currently pulling out his radio because this guy wants to buy it <laughs> you guys remember him type r guy yeah uh, <laughs> it's not a type r man it it doesn't, it doesn't have the red Ricardo seats though. It doesn't have the red Ricardo seats, but it has USDM. It's not a USDM Type R. They are. <laughs> Still has Type R seats. <laughs> so yeah, the rubber uh, got stuck inside, so we're trying Rebound to get it out. Got it, I got it, I got it again, I got it again. So the thing I'm going to see, man. That's what she said. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Hey. Ooh. Oh, oh God. God dang. Yeah, that is. Uh, that's ah, what. That's what color. you get when you drive '90s Hondas. <laughs> it's not used. It's not. All right. So uh, I actually I did buy a GC8 
um, a while back but um, I didn't get the time to fix it so now the new owner come the new owner has come to pick it up and uh, yeah so basically I treated this car and this car for my DB8 so yeah that's why the guy uh, went to, over to Stuki and uh, he took Stuki's engine but yeah It was a nice car too, you know, it's like... 